Every time I hit them bars, man, I can shake. Chills. It's just like it's chills in me. Ah! Love one, love a drug, leave you in pieces. If you ain't with us, you against us, we gon' leave you. They got my dogs up the road, free my demons. We're on that wall, standing tall, they ain't no leaving. Standing tall. I love to chase your bag. I love to get some cash. I love to post up with my business to go make a mad. A lot of lies can't take them back. I know our friends call her stupid cause she take me back. With my little basic cash. Got my name Lil Trizzy. I'm known to get busy. Ever met a rebel? I'ma show you how a nigga kick it. Rizzy. Never found no love, my heart tied into these fucking trenches. You got my heart forever scar, girl. I'm coming different. Play your part, they start watching on the come up. We was out there posted on that block until the sun up. Any chance they gave us a slide, we took the one up. Any Nigga that was outside, he wasn't gonna. Was I sent the late night text, so I expect it in the morning. And I know that duck come unexpected, ain't no warning. I'm hearing signs every day, that shit annoying. First to the money, I'm in this trap, why y'all yawning? Since I said we going in, free box to the all 10. They thought he was going, been scared of why it's going. In. Wanna go to heaven, but we can't, cause we all sin. I just need a bitch to be Gina and I be Martin. I didn't earn my stripes in these streets, now I'm a target. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, You're now tuned into me, 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 me. Million dollars worth of game on Wallow 267. This right here is Gilly the Nut, a.k.a. of the the Nut Boys. Stop playing with me, dog. No, you just a nut. Let me tell you something. That was Molly, Mac, and Triz, man. Yeah. And my dancing was Demons. off today, man. Yeah, it was off. But you, I'm just saying, like, you're getting old, man. You know what I mean? You're getting old, man. But listen. But I'm saying you get no only time you dance is like when like when Stop what's fucking playing me, when like dog. YMCA come old, or it's nigga. raining men. Let me you tell you something, nigga. I'm Benjamin Button, nigga. I'm getting older while I'm getting yeah, younger. Yeah, it nigga. sound good. It sound real good. You getting older, man. You getting older, my man. <laughs> nigga, I'm getting older while I'm, I'm getting younger. Way older. Nigga, the fuck is wrong with you? Boy, getting older. First of all, I always been the athlete of the family. Athlete of what? First of all, you always got caught because the police always ran you down and tripped you, jumped on your back. And no, you. your athletic skills came from telling. What? You get caught and you tell on me. That's that's how you run. That's why you always beat me running. It wasn't like you just oh oh it just happened. No, it wasn't like that, man. It wasn't like that, man. So, so you just gonna throw that false information out there like that, huh? Listen, man. Million dollars worth of game is brought to you by Barstool Sports. Listen, man. At the end of the day, this guy right here, he's a uh, the he he invented the snitch back. He invented the snitch first before somebody could even snitch back. This guy right here, that was his track game of him him getting away from the police out there. For everybody was like, damn, why Gil never went to jail? He never went to jail. Because his track game and him running away from police or dodging the police was just telling him. Fuck out of here. Which is a snitch. I'm snitch first. And then that's how the snitch back. And you invented, yeah. that's how they, they, you they, activated the snitch back. Word on the streets is they gave you an elbow, but you gave 80 years back. And then they only gave you 20. Yeah, okay. You told all yourself. Take that fucking smut off my name. <laughs> Let's get into our sponsors, man. Man, listen, we're going to go right. Listen, man, you know what's crazy about it? And, 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 and I, I, before we get into our sponsors, it's just like, man, I brung something here today, man. Fuck it, man. I brung it here today. I used to come in. Come on, man. I brung it. You keep, you keep worrying about what's in my little power pouch. Huh? What's in the power pouch? I'm going to show you right now. I mean, you got to stop getting, you know, when you're in the shower, you you know, you guys out there, hold on, don't wash my hands. I can't, I got to hide this from you. When you guys are in the shower out there, you're in the shower, you're using your razor, you're cleaning it up for the girl. Ah! That's how you be. Every time you cut yourself. That's why you got to get with Manscaped. You got to get with the, the lawnmower 3.0, right? Listen, look, I brung it with me. Ah, look. Brung my thing with me. The joint I use, I mean, just, I want to clean hair is falling out there. No, I'm just cool. Just go. I'm gonna, I want you to listen. Go check. Listen. Feel it. Oh man, I'm not touching that shit. You shaved your balls with that joint, bro. Like you hear it? You listen. You got the LED lights because when you when you hitting your piece up, when you hooking everything up down there, you uh, you can see the light. Like like say if you want, it's like me. Sometimes I like to do it in the dark just so the light. Yo, yeah. that joint really had hair stuck in them. No, that's yeah, why I was you cleaning it up. That's why I was cleaning. No, I was cleaning it up because I got a little. You know what I mean? Listen, when, when, you know, it might be dark, right? So you, you you in the dark, right? Do it in the dark. I'm telling you, when you get the lawnmower, you got to do it in the dark. One thing that I love, listen, no, straight up. One thing I love about the lawnmower, listen, man. This, listen, man. It, listen, this thing is just like you just be in the dark and be like, zzz, and you just see the light will be on the hair, and then you'll see that you double back, and the hair not there no more. You be like, oh shit, light hair, light. Oh, well, it's going here right there with the light, and then it, and then you back up, and it's not there. It's like this shit is like amazing. It's like magic happened, right? Straight up, I'm talking about. It's like magic happened. What you got to do is go to manscape.com, right, and get you one of these, right. And listen, I'm telling you. You trimmed the hair get, on your ass with that? No, no, no. Listen, what'd huh? you say? Did you trim the hair on your ass with that? 
Well, you can. I'm not saying I did. I'm just saying you can in <laughs> you this. You a, and it give you, you get clean you, you up. You the strip going all the way down your back. Put Why would I do down that? Your ass. Why would I do that? And the thing about this, listen. The thing about this, listen. What I like about it is you're going to get hooked up if you use code game at manscaped.com. You get 20% off. Listen, free shipping with code. Listen, man. Uh, but hold up. Guess what? I brought something special, too. What? I didn't just bring this. Uh, got to clean my. You always got to clean your clippers. Bang! You see this right here? My ball deodorant. <laughs> but see, no, 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 no. Listen, cuz, listen, cuz, cuz. This is the thing about this. I don't just use this because, listen, it's just so good. After, you know what I mean? Just put it on you. You got to make sure your, your stuff is hooked up down there just in case you might get hooked up. I don't know. Your mom might be like, damn, well, you smell nice. And you, yeah, because you But guess you what? Guess what, though? That. Guess what? Here, take take a little bit. Look, I'm not dumb. Look, 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 smell it, smell it. I use this stuff sometimes. Like, if I'm somewhere and I don't got my cologne, like, and I got this. Look, 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 smell it, smell it. Yeah, it smell good. good. So you yeah, can just you hit yourself up. Also, it's supposed to go on your balls. What you put it on your neck? Because I shave too. Because you a dickhead. I shave my. Listen, I shave. Listen, I shave my neck too. I shave my neck too. Though, but it, it smell good. Listen, this shit is listen. He talking about this new ball to you. Listen, listen. This ball. Listen. Ooh, this this ball. So listen. This ball, listen, ball to you. This so ball preserver. This ball preserver. But no, they, no, they, they didn't know what they was doing. They didn't know this was a double bubble. So say if you want to cheat, if you want to cheat, you don't want to get no cologne because they got the cologne too. They also got that. But that's another story. And listen, hold on. Oh, B Rock, how he just let us know he's a dick. Hold up. And, and you gotta and Look you gotta my new ball cologne. No, no, no. Ooh. And you gotta advertise Ooh. to your woman. One thing about them, one thing I like about listen, one thing I like about Manscaped, you gotta advertise to your woman. They also you bang! You had them on, so when she see you with them on, you see the you no no no. She see you with them on, she like, oh shit. Oh, you hooked up today, you're gonna get hooked up. Cause if you're hooked up, she might hook you up. That's what I'm talking I heard about. You, where your manscaped phones at? I heard you had a pair of manscaped. No, I don't got phones. none of them. Them the kind you got. I don't got none of them. I don't got I don't got none of them. I don't got listen, man. And you know one thing about this? The battery lasts up to I ain't gonna lie though, the ball deodorant do sound good because it'd be a lot of niggas out here giving giving a giving a woman the salty nuts. That's like, what I'm saying. Like this, you stuff, can't get your woman the salties. It smells so good, and you like, can, and you can you use dip this the salties all in her mouth. Blood, yeah. blood pressure go through the roof. She about to have a motherfucking heart attack out here. All that, listen, man. Yeah, I I I recommend all that, man. I recommend manscaping. I mean, and I, deal, I mean, right? listen, that's everything. Because you was old school. You for a minute, you, yeah, I was using razors. You, you know, I you, cut myself a lot. You, you know. He Wallow's still one of them niggas get out the shower and dump baby powder in his drawers. No, I didn't do all that, that I old didn't do that. school. <laughs> I didn't do that. I used to do that back in the day. I, I ain't do that. I ain't do that stuff at home. I ain't do that. He shit. was the baby powder king in jail. I ain't do that shit. He was BBK. I don't know. Why would I do that in jail? He was BBK. <laughs> No, listen, listen. I ain't gonna lie. When I was in jail, I used to put baby powder on my sheets. Like when I changed my sheet, put the baby powder on your sheets. <laughs> they said, they said in jail, you used to be on the block like LeBron James. You lying on me? I never was like that. I never was like that. I never was like no LeBron. He said you, you dropped the powder in your drawers. <laughs> why would I do that? See, that's why you just lose. You won't put smut on my name. Like he pissed this shit. Why would I do that? Well, I don't fucking know. No disrespect. I'm, I'm just hey, saying. Listen, no, no let's get into. Let's get into our. No second disrespect sponsor, to the man. gay community, but you got a lot of gay people just walking up on me, like on some like. <laughs> Like on some how you doing type stuff, like trying to come at me, man. They come, they walking up on, on some you, real shit. They calling you your real name. How are you doing, Wireless? Man, it'd be a lot of stuff. I don't, I don't. We I don't, heard, don't we heard, Wireless was wild in the pen. I don't care what nobody into, but I no, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be a little, it'd be more aggressive, <laughs> hey, hey, aggressive listen, approaches let, to shit. Let's get into, our, let's get into our next sponsor, right? Which is Raycon earbuds. Listen, I love these ear. Listen, I, I love, love them too. Hey, listen, man, we living in a wireless world right listen, now. I love them. Pop and, if, right in. and everybody, everybody has got to have some some earbuds. Pop and, right and in. If you're gonna get some, why not get the Raycons? Listen, you you know. right in. First Wait. of all, they half the price of all these other all these other companies. Raycon is half the price easily, and it still Wait. give you the same amazing top of the line quality with the base. You know what I mean? And Everything. a new model right here. Wham. The the E25. I love these pups. One thing one thing I like about these pups when you put them in your ear. As soon as you put it in your ears, like, uh, headphones pairing. Pairing, you like that? <laughs> yeah, I like that. You think a woman talking to you, you loser. <laughs> You're just a loser. You sitting there thinking like a woman talking to you, you just a loser. <laughs> no, I just like the technology behind this. Like, you know, you just I, it threw me off when I first threw them in it. It was like, headphones pairing. So make sure y'all y'all mess with these, uh, these Raycon earbuds, man. The newest model. E25 is the best one yet. Six hours of playing time, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and it has a new compact design. That's nice for uh, noise isolating fit. Raycon is where it's at, man. We just want to, uh, 
I want to thank Raycon for blessing us too, man. Hey, because uh, Are we gonna... my, my fucking kids love these things, man. They're legendary. And they got all they got all the the, the uh, wireless earbuds from all a lot of different companies, but they really like these ones. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and one another reason why I like the Raycons is because I don't know what it is. I don't know if I got funny shaped ears or whatever. But when I be having certain earbuds and after a while, that shit be. You like, got B.E. You got baby ears. Oh, shut up, nigga. That shit, that shit be kind of irritating my ears. Like, they don't do that to you? No. They don't? Oh, no. that's because you got a big ass head. So them drinks just sitting there like a kangaroo pouch. You got big ass kangaroo pouches. You just <laughs> you just tuck the babies in. You know that ass nigga? <laughs> He's a loser. Make, make sure y'all tap in with the new Raycon E25 True wireless earbuds premium sound compact design easy to pair long lasting battery and it's half the price of all the other ones that you're gonna get so it's a steal if you ask me let's get into million dollars worth of game let's get into it baby okay if your partner dies okay your girlfriend mm -hmm. let's put some years on this Y'all got six, at least six years in. Y'all done started a family. Might got a child or two. At least six years. If your partner dies, your husband, your wife, how long do you got to wait before you're allowed to get into another relationship sexually? What do you mean? Talk to somebody? Talk to somebody, the whole, the whole, the whole, go take it there. Because you could talk to somebody and never take it there. Now you got to talk to somebody and, and take it there. You talking about a kiss? What about talk, a kiss? I'm talking about a what kiss. What about a kiss? Uh, uh, what about I'm an ass grab? I'm talking about a kiss. I'm talking about a titty suck. I'm talking about a ride and a dick like a jockey at the Kentucky Derby. I'm talking about it a all. A DM? Answering the DM. How long? How, what about answering the DM? No, 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 no nothing like that. You th how long do you got to wait before oh, you man. take it there? Take it there. I don't yeah. know. I, don't, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm thinking about what you say a year, <coughs> year or two. I think if me and two got out of a relationship, uh, if me and two, no, I'm talking about somebody died. But if, no, 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 I'm saying if me and two somebody is in a relationship, died. listen, me and two is in a relationship for all these years, and something happened to me. Yeah. I don't believe that two is able to talk to another man ever again in life. So she just got to be uh, by herself for the rest of life. You fucking right, like. Because at the end of the day, it's like six months. Is that enough time? I mean, you're going to get judged no, no matter how long months. you wait. What about a year? A year? No, I think people do it. I, th I think a lot of people do it real earlier. I just think they do they it. They just hide it. They Absolutely. hide the shit out they, of you. They, can't, because you still go I, around a person, mom, they, they sisters, they're like, oh, bitch, you're a whore. Oh, you damn, you just damn, you just right. moving on like that. It's just that easy. So they find them, they find them that SD? Side dick. Secret dick. Yeah, that's the same thing. The secret dick. That, no, 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 no. Because side dick could tell on you. Secret dick always going to keep that secret. Yeah, I, yeah, I ain't going to tell nobody because I don't want to be looking crazy. Yeah, I want to be both looking oh, crazy. Yeah, we both looking crazy. I'm fucking you the two weeks after he died. You know what I mean? Because it's, um, it's some bitches that won't, they won't wait 48 hours. Yeah, they, you're right. You hear me? I know somebody personally that ain't wait 48 hours. That's another story. Uh, you know what's her name? It don't matter. Just throw out I'm not there one throwing time. I'm not throwing nobody out throw there. I ain't, out there one them, time. I ain't telling that woman. <laughs> she ain't wait 48 hours, huh? No, I ain't telling no one. She, she ran. She ran. She motherfucking four. Motherfucking nigga died. She ran right into the dick 17 hours later. <laughs> now, jail would be the oh, same thing. Oh, my God. Dick was no, that jail, you? No, jail would be the same thing. Motherfucker <laughs> go to jail. They go right in. What you mean? Motherfucker go to jail. Chick be chick be slinging and banging at night. Oh, they got the nigga out the way. By the Absolutely. Time. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Hey, let me ask you a question. If you in jail, do you want to know? What you mean, want to know? Like, did you want to know your bitch was out here blazing? No, I knew was she was out here slinging the banging. When you go to jail, you gotta, you gotta. No, 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 no. Low. There's a difference between you trying to tell yourself, yeah, I know she's doing her thing, and you actually knowing it come through. Yo, you know, uh. Jam all, jam all. Who the nigga that jammed all that dick in your bitch mouth? Yeah, listen, he listen, out there listen, crushing. Listen, them. when you hear that, you just lose your mind. Like you, when you first hear that shit, it just be like, damn, man, I can't believe. Like you, you don't want to hear. It. That's one of them Jones when you walk back in your cell when you be in the yard and somebody here, you be like, I can't wait till the yard is over. You just want to get to your cell, pull the curtain, pull the curtain over, and just be like, man, shit, man. 
and sit on your bed and just lay down there. Try to look for a Snoop Dogg tape because you know he still had tapes in jail when I was in there. Play bitches ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit. <laughs> you be in there. Boop, 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 boop. And then you just boop, boop. and listen. And then you just get miserable with everybody else, and you just everybody got to join the street. Oh yeah, she doing something, man. Go ahead, man. Let that shit go. You just be telling everybody that because it make you feel good. Okay, you hold on. Shit. Okay, hold on. But okay, so so before we, because I want to stay on that for one second. Uh-huh. But before we get to that, so how long do a partner got before they allow to to get some vagina? Honestly, if I'm going on some honest shit, man, do you, man? I ain't here. I can't, I can't satisfy you no more. I bullshit. I talk no, a lot of shit. No, you just saying that because if you motherfucker die, you going right there. No. How long is it going to take for you to go in? <laughs> well, first of all, we you already told April if she died, you take it no, no, day no, day. I said, no, I you said, said, I, said you, I'm gonna, we, I, I posted on the gram. But we, I said, y'all didn't even know I, I was recording. You said if you die, baby, I'm going to take care of day day. I'm going to take all my clothes off. I'm going to run down the street ass naked. I'm, I'm like, why no, are you said, running down the street said, ass naked? No, this is what she said. She said... Is you gonna go right? You said you gonna you just gonna go right to life. I said no, I ain't said I gonna go to right to life because she trying to say me going to life is just me doing me. I said what I said was first I'm gonna be so fucked up that she going that I'm gonna strip out and I'm gonna run down the street and they gonna 302 me until I I might be gone. But for why six you months. had to strip out? Why you got to run out? Why why you had to put your piece in the streets? No, it ain't about my piece. It's about me getting close to the guy and telling the guy come get me. I got my I got all my stuff off. You because you know you get you gotta take your clothes off when you going up top. <laughs> no, the fuck you talking. I'm just, the fuck is you talking about? Most people Niggas get buried in clothes. No, most people, they be done. They be ass naked when they die. As soon as they die, they cutting their shit off in the hospital. They like, they shit getting cut off. You know what I'm saying? When you go to the hospital, you get shot. Uh, they get, they got they strip you out. <laughs> the fuck out so I'm just, I'm doing it for, I'm stripping out myself. So take me, I can't take this shit. I want to leave. Put me with her. That's so, what I said. I'm 302 me. So how long, how long do a person got, if, 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 if you pass... You know, hypothetically speaking, how long did, did April got to wait before she could get them yamba dabba dudes up? Man, listen, man. <laughs> she could do her, man. I wouldn't even care, man. I'd be going, man. What the fuck? I'd be going. Like, what, what I'm but you do? looking down at, you looking down at, I just can't picture looking down from heaven. And two got a nigga sausage in her hand, looking the nigga in his eyes, man, like this. <laughs> so, it's taking the soul from him. Right. So, she's a soul snatcher. It's toot like this. She a soul snatcher. And this nigga calling Toot, Tootie. Yeah, Toot, get that dick. Ooh! Whoa. <laughs> what nigga. You, what you would do from up top? <sighs> nigga, I'm, I'm starting to fight up there. The same, that's the thing. thing. What, what do niggas do in jail? Yeah, they start to fight. They, you just be what mad. They, what they, what they, anybody say light as shit to him. <laughs> I, they, it's whatever. Go on my, speak me myself, nigga. It's whatever with me. I'm, ro- I'm, <laughs> I'm walking right in Tupac's <laughs> cell in heaven. We going through it. Ah! Tupac, Tupac, you talking to Tupac cell? Tupac Shakur. For no reason. I'm going, I'm going. I'm going to start with one of the legends. Fuck it. I'm here. I'm mad as shit. But bitch down there with a nigga sauce. Damn, just think about that. Damn, you get to see everybody though. You get to see my like, like oh, is heaven like is is heaven a paradise? Is it separate? Where's though? The, all the stars be over there. You can't go to them. They like live. They got like a Hollywood or rich people place. <laughs> and, and the regular people in the ghetto. Like Tupac said, I wonder if had heaven got a ghetto. Absolutely. What if it's a ghetto and you go right back up there and you in the fucking ghetto? You're like, damn. Can I ever get a fucking break? I died. I was in the ghetto when I came, and now I'm now I'm in. I still can't get a fuck. Can I get a break? You still gotta pay to get to certain shows. You gotta like the athletes still the athletes. Right. You, like you died, you right. not, you was nothing. You wasn't nobody on on earth. Now you ain't nothing up there. They, they done told you that half the life gonna be notorious and glorious. You get the fuck up there, you dead pop too. You're like damn, I'm the a, fuck? Yeah, I'm broke up here, man. <laughs> Nigga, get to heaven. Like I, I still ain't got no fucking insurance, medical insurance. <laughs> you get there, they like, oh no, you can't go over here. You gotta live over there. You like, damn, what the fuck is going on? Yo, that's some deep shit. Think about that shit. <laughs> Absolutely. So let me ask you this question. So <coughs> in prison, mm-hmm. how many people did you see like start some shit that ain't really had nothing to do with nothing, all because they got that treacherous phone call. They got that treacherous phone call. She ain't come for a visit. I seen a lot of dumb shit happen. Spark off, man. Because you seen people, a lot of niggas go to the hole because they yep. bitch was giving up that hole, huh? Yep, because and then people whole energy change. A lot of times people energy change. And when they energy change, it's just a whole nother vibe, man. That fucking energy change is like, man, I want, you know. You just start snapping, man, all because she's getting slayed and sprayed. And you, you don't want your woman to get How did you feel when you found out your woman was getting slayed? I didn't have no woman, so it didn't really matter. Like, my, you know what I mean? I didn't, listen, no, it wasn't. I didn't, come on, man. I didn't have no woman, so it really didn't matter. 
<laughs> oh, when I found out, it was like, man, <laughs> it was like, it was like, damn, man. About the same thing. <laughs> like it was one of the moments. It was one of the moments where, it's though, I just wanted to like, like inside of me. I ain't gonna front. Even though I was in prison, inside of me, I stripped out and just ran around screaming. <laughs> but like, like inside of me, not outside. I just stripped out. Oh, of jail. I was about to say, you stripped out of jail, ran around naked. What the fuck? I don't know why when shit go wrong, I just want to strip out and just like, ah, like scream. Was that your lowest point in jail? Other than Steve? No, no Steve. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, Other than cousin Steve. Like when you first Bassett. introduced introduced to prison and you don't realize that uh, you don't realize that. That's a part of jail, like hearing about your woman getting slayed and sprayed. That shit fuck you up. You be done. You can't take it. What's the most treacherous shit you ever seen a person do over his bitch getting fucked on the street? Hit somebody in the head with a weight uh, over an argument that really probably wouldn't have been an argument, but they was mad in the yard. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times when dudes, they go work out. So he was working out. Dude said somebody hit him with a 10-pound weight. and it was. But, you know, once I got the backstory, it was about, you know what I mean? He got that call. Sister told him. We got that treacherous call. Stop calling that girl. You know she messed with boo 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 bang. You know she fucked with baby leg. Yup. What 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 baby leg? The real BL? Yeah, the one with the song. What's the song? He got a baby leg. Uh, Who that is? That's that baby, baby leg. Oh uh, oh. Uh, he got a baby leg. Uh, I'm baby leg. I'm baby leg. I got a baby leg. They call me baby leg. You always fuck the song up. <laughs> no, they call me. I used to, no, I said I'm baby leg. I'm baby leg. They call me baby leg. I got a baby leg. I rap that joint right. But that's right. not the hook. Though. I rap that joint. See, you be sleeping on, like you always be trying to play my raps and shit. Like I ain't like like. Come on, man. Like don't do that shit. <laughs> Let I me hear something then. Why don't, you, why don't you spit one of your old verses right now for the culture? I don't give a fuck if it's 15 years old. I don't give a fuck if it's 17 years old. Why don't you spit one, one time? Why don't you do it for the culture one time? Oh, I, no, man. One time, bro. Let me see. All right, let me see. Let me see. Uh, if you got a PD, play your ass burned out. Say your money, most of these lawyers, they burned out. Got knocked with two gats, don't get shook up and scary. Beat it at the pre, throw your bread at you and your White body, don't you fuck with Jack McMahon and you be up north looking at books fucking your hand. F. Perry, law heavy, Victoria's cat. Be up in the courtroom slinging Victoria's rap. If your gun play pro and you're hurting the triple beam, Lynn Nade would turn red when you walk in with Epstein. Got two bodies, but they ain't catch you with the heater. Pick 12, rumble it out with Santa Guida. Guy Sciola, he like Bobby from the practice. He makes sure you get acquitted with some press tactics. Time be so heavy, throw a pain in your spine. Wanna raise your kids, don't you fuck with Gerald Stein, player who's your lawyer. If he ain't pro, you lost and you fuck. PDs make you bleed, take the plea, and you stuck. Lost if your lawyer ain't the boss. Niggas getting a heavy time. If they can't pay the cost, player who's your lawyer. If he ain't pro, you lost and you fuck. PDs make you bleed, take the plea, and you stuck. You lost if your lawyer ain't the boss. Niggas getting a heavy time, but they can't pay the cost. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I, I do a little, all right? That was, you know, that was bad. It was, it was a song called Who's Your Lawyer? You know what I mean? It, it, was, it, it, was about, it was about just me. It was about talking about the lawyer game. Because, you know, people rap. And when I used to rap, I used to try to write raps about shit that was different. Like, everybody talk about this, but nobody had a song called The Legal Directory. That was like a legal directory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, was like, it was like me educating people. Because, you know, when you used to rap, it would be the song about the girl, mm -hmm. the song about the dead homie, mm -hmm. the song about the party. Mm -hmm. It was like a structure of rap. So I was like, damn, <clears throat> now I think it's easier because you can just rap. Yeah. You ain't got to really put no, 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 I mean, like. like, like rock that was a fucking jail rap, wasn't it? That nigga just named all the fucking lawyers. The shit, the, the, if you want to get out, go to Tommy the Santa Guido. And if you want to go to yeah, jail, jail go to Rafael Rico. <laughs> Listen, real hustlers retain lawyers when they eating. Anything other than that, player, you're cheating. Pay him up front and player, he respect you. In the courtroom like a vest, he protect you. Don't lease the new coop, feed the lawyer to your dough. What's more important, your freedom or the ice in the row? Yeah, in Lucivino, he stays selling out niggas. He send you up north, you ain't holding the right figures. Player, who's your lawyer? If he ain't pro, you lost and you stuck. PDs make you bleed, take the plea, then you fuck. You lost if your lawyer ain't the boss. Niggas getting a heavy time, they can't pay the cost. Player, who's your lawyer? If he ain't pro, you lost and you Talk fuck. Heavy. PDs make you bleed, take the plea, then you stuck. Uh. You lost if your lawyer ain't the boss. Niggas getting heavy time, if they can't pay the cost. Yeah, this shit the DA got, my boys have destroyed that. I'm talking about the Cochran's, Douglas, and Roy Black. I'm talking about Rudolph, I'm, I'm talking about Rudolfsky, Gilman, and Bruce Cutler. Cecil B. Moore was a mean motherfucker. The gun, the drugs, and the tap to the wire. Get suppressed at the hearing. Got a beast that's quiet. If your bread real heavy, don't be rotting in the cell. Put them lawyers on retainer when they finish your yell. You ain't Kathleen Martin? A rumble game pro drug case kidnapped. Fuck with GMP Tro. Don't just listen to me. Better do your homework or you be sitting in the cell or sat in a long jerk. James Ecker, Bruce Anacoyak, 
Either one of them, your lawyers, you roll in the right track. Fuck doing heavy time surrounded by germs, money. Catch them 40, sell you out and just switch firms, money. Player, who's your lawyer? If he ain't pro, you lost and you fuck. I was a beast, man. In my hey, day. let me just tell you something. He named all the fucking lawyers. He ain't had none of the bitches. He wasn't there with a personal I had Kathleen w. Martin. <laughs> nigga wasn't there with a personal W. I had Kathleen uh, Martin. I'm Listen. a personal W. I had, I had Kathleen Martin. <laughs> nigga, nigga, <laughs> nigga went to jail, found out all the popping lawyers. <laughs> I had Kathleen though. <coughs> I had one. Listen, who was your lawyer? I had one paid lawyer in my life. Who was your lawyer? No, 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 no. Who listen. was your lawyer? I used Ronnie to be in the law library. Listen, I used who to was your law lawyer? Sammy listen. Summertime. I used to be in the law who library. <laughs> I used to be in the law library reading about lawyers, reading case law, so I knew what lawyers was what. I just knew it. Who was your lawyer? Larry Longshore. Who was your? Lawyer? But it was a list. It was a legal and then, directory and for then people what in the, the fuck streets. The court with a PD. How you doing? Know, I'm a person. No, I dummy. wrote. I wrote that after I got my first paid lawyer, Kathleen Martin. And when I got, <laughs> nigga, I still went. Nigga got his first twenty five hundred dollar lawyer and start, start talking shit. Who's your lawyer? He, <laughs> he he all in the jail being judgmental. Who's your lawyer? See you young niggas going to jail. But no, on some real shit. Larry, on some real shit. He got shit Larry Longshore. He gonna make sure you go for a long tour. See, I got Kathleen Martin when shit get the spark and, and niggas talk shit get the fart and I'm getting the darting because I'm out this. <laughs> The legal directory. <laughs> the legal directory. That's how you knew you was on this some is, jail this shit. This is million dollars worth of game legal directory. <laughs> my, my single. If thing. you're in the streets and you're doing crime, we'll tell you what lawyers to get. No, you know. <laughs> you motherfucker. Let me just say something. Oh, you, you had Gaskiola. I did, but I didn't know that from you. you, didn't, you didn't, I told you to rap in jail on the phone. That's why you got it. You fucking liar. That's why you got That's why you got Gaskiola. Hey, hey, to all my youngins out there, right? Who? You, you got a case? You don't know who the fuck to get. He going to tell you what lawyer to get. And what, you got a kidnapping? Get Rafael Santana. He get you off the He's kid. a kidnap specialist. He specializes in kidnapping. This nigga, this nigga just sat here and named every fucking lawyer in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was all over the country. Roy Black, he's a hell of a lawyer. He's a hell of a mouthpiece. Did you say something about Johnny Cochran? Yeah, I was talking about the Cochran. You don't know I said Cochran. the Cochran first. <laughs> You know Cockman. You don't know Cockman. You know Cockman from down the Woody's. <laughs> no, you know you that Woody's bar. The boy Cockman. You know Johnny Cockman. <laughs> you, know, you know the boy. You know the boy Cockman. The the, the the frisker at the door. The dude that frisky. Hey, that's what you hey, know. Let's get into this, right? <laughs> on a serious. Note. The legal directory. A million dollars worth of game. On a serious note, man. I want to give a big. <laughs> I'm going to give a R.I.P. to Pop Smoke. R.I.P. to Pop Smoke. You know. He was 20 years old. He was a uh, a kid who was on the way up. You know what I mean? Um, one Whoa. of the kids who looked like he had a, a, a very high successful chance of uh, making it out these things we call a ghetto. And uh, he was murdered, exe he was executed, uh, murdered in LA, right? Beverly Hills, right? And I just want to I just want to drop this game on you know I talked about it on Instagram but I just want to go a little further with it cuz Wallow wasn't around I want to get some of his thoughts on it and you know his perspective on it but to all these to all the athletes out here to all the rappers to all the entertainers to mm -hmm. all the comedians you got to understand when you go to these other cities that these other cities are are really ruthless man you know what I'm saying? Because, see, coming from Philadelphia, where it's niggas on top of niggas, and coming from Baltimore and New York and these cities where it's niggas on top of niggas, you get to these cities like California where you see the sunshine and you see You get to palm Atlanta, trees. you get to Miami, you, you get yeah, lax. Right, and you get lax. And you think, oh, this shit's sweet out here because it's sunny. You see palm trees. You got to understand, it's, it's killers and it's gorillas everywhere, man. Everywhere. Let me tell you something. Just like as a Philadelphia Zoo is a Miami Zoo, is a Detroit Zoo, is a goddamn California Zoo. So, so the the apes, the gorillas, the killers, the lions, the tigers, the bears, oh my, they're everywhere, man. And when you out here, man, you gotta understand that you got some shiesty ass bitches out here. You got some shiesty ass bitches that these bitches' whole job is. When niggas come to town to line niggas up. 
You got you got a coalition of bitches that line niggas up to get robbed and get and get taken for everything they fucking got. David, hey, listen, one thing about these women out here, you gotta be when you out here making the moves and you got the rap shit, you got the, the quarter million dollars worth of jewelry on, you got all this shit going on, you running them from town to town, you might be from LA, but you in New York, you gotta remember. It's a bunch of women out here that's trying to line you up for your semen or line you up for the demons. Right. This shit is real out here. Absolutely. They will line you up for some semen or they will line you up with the demons. Right. Everybody, you keep listening. Look look in your neighborhood. You know bad Keisha, the, the, the girl Keisha, the girl Tammy, they bad, they beautiful. But they also got them crazy ass brothers that love that dumb shit. They also might have a baby father or a cousin mm -hmm. that just came home from jail that love dumb shit. Or, or or they could just be uh, a young, beautiful woman that's just uh, easily uh, influenced, influenced to some nut shit. You know what I'm saying? You got you got you got a lot of women out here that be easily influenced. Don't they, forget don't forget the homies though. Fuck that. Right. We not gonna keep dwelling on the women. No no no. Don't no, forget the no, fake homies no, no, that no, allow we, you to we, fuck we, up we, too. We gonna get to them. We gonna get to them. Because, Jealousy because at the end of the day, a lot of times, most of the times. It be the niggas more than the women, and most of the time, when something happened to you, it's a nigga that's close to you, mm -hmm. because he think he ain't gonna never think it's me. Mm -mm. You feel me? So something happened to you, that nigga sitting there, he playing the whole motherfucking role. I can't believe them niggas. Mm -hmm. I can't believe whole time he about to back door you and go break bread with the same niggas that just took you off. Cause, cause a lot of times, most of the people that's close to you. They'll sit there and say, like you say, why not me? <laughs> why why not is me? him? I'm supposed to be getting this. Absolutely. And they'll be looking at your life and saying, that's supposed to be my life. Instead of looking at your life and saying, let me play the part in my man, my brother, my teammate. Let me play the part in his life. Because a lot of times, you know what happened? A motherfucker come off a bench, shoot a jump shot, think they supposed to be starting. Absolutely. Nigga, you the 10th person off the bench. Right. Now, they, they, they in the locker room got an attitude. Right. Man, I should be starting. He went to college like me. I did this in college. You What you did in college, you're not doing in the pros, bro. Right. That's why you the ninth man, tenth man, eleventh right. man, thirteenth, twenty seventh man off the bench. Right. Is that many players? Mm -mm. Oh, all right. Well, whatever. How many? What in the NFL? Twelve. Oh, fifty three. Oh well, it don't matter. You, no, you can't shoot a jump shot. So how many? It's twelve. Well, you you the twelve and a half motherfucker off the bench because you damn near getting kicked off the team. Right. You come in and get a good shot. Get it. Oh yeah. Man, I need to be starting, man. You tell your man's and them telling you always. There's always somebody around somebody telling somebody somebody fucking here. Right. And, they, and and it's always it's always somebody. Who they can't do what you do. Nope. They uh they can't provide the services that you provide and they can't nine times out of ten even conduct themselves in the same manner that you conduct themselves, but they gonna be the ones giving you advice. Like I tell women all the time, ladies, you know who not to take relationship advice from? A bitch that's single. Mm. Because what what is the bitch going to tell you? How to not get a nigga? You feel what I'm saying? So that, that, that be another thing that be funny to me. You have motherfuckers out here that get advice from a motherfucker who, who's not even in the right field to give you that advice. Mm -mm -mm. You feel what I'm saying? They say misery loves company, man. It do, because when I was in jail and I was miserable and I found out that my chick got slayed, sprayed, they got laid, slayed, and then sprayed. I wanted that for other dudes. I used to be like, <laughs> oh, man, somebody out there slaying your bra, man. Stop worrying about her, man. Just do your time. You was wishing dick slaying on everybody. Yeah, I was bitch. like, yo, your bra getting slayed, man. And I, and I only said the dudes that I was like cool with because I didn't want nobody to snap on me, hit me in the head with a wig or some shit. You know what I mean? So I'd be like, man, listen, man. And, I, and it's a way of finessing your wordplay. It's a way of laying your words down on them. I'd be like, man, just let it go, man. Damn, why you say that? Why you know something? I'm just saying, man, like a lot of times. You know, you be doing your time. Women, they still got to get laid, slayed, and sprayed. Right. So it's like, man, let it go, man. Because I, I don't want you to find out and get hurt, man. You my man. Right. But it is what it is. Right. So so that was a way of me saying your bitch out there get slayed. Right. And it's in a nice way. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, I just want to tell y'all, man, y'all got to watch yourself when, when y'all in these other cities, man. These niggas is not playing out here, man. You got niggas that's, that's first of all, you're on their turf. I'm gonna just say this. Can I can you, I share you, a quick story? Yeah. About how I almost got fucking killed when I was in uh I almost got killed when I was in uh <laughs> LA because my goofy ass didn't realize that I was in a, some Mexicans area I was supposed to be. Cause like you say, you go you go over there, right? Mm -hmm. And this shit is beautiful. Right. It's beautiful. And I told and I told I called I, I called some big homies. They said, What the fuck is you doing right there? Right. Get the fuck away from there. But right. this would save my life. So I go, 
I like, listen, I see damn nice trees. It's nice on this block. I go to set my camera. I'm ready to run down the motherfucking street. Mexican boy come out of the motherfucking house. Another one was in the wheelchair coming. But the one boy that came out, he pulled a piece on me. What'd he say? He said, what the fuck is you doing? He here, said, what homie? the fuck is you doing around here? On everything I love. I don't really share this story because I don't want nobody to realize that I was a bitch ass nigga. He but said, what the, okay, story. so let's reenact. What the fuck are you doing around here? Homie? When I seen the piece, I immediately mm -hmm. retreated. Uh, listen, I surrendered. I got on my knees. I got right on my knees, cuz. Wait, on the block? Yeah, on the fucking block. He had a fucking real. He pulled his piece out, you listen. got on your knees. That sounds like some shit you did in jail, too. No, 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 I didn't. Nigga pulled his piece out, no, you the got fuck on your I knees. Did. Listen, on anything I love. So listen, listen, listen. <laughs> nigga, a nigga pulled his gun out. No, listen, I done listen. had a gun pulled out of me. Listen, whole, whole play. this you happened. Won, listen, play. I ain't tell you nothing. You won, play. This, hap this happened to Nigga ain't never pulled his gun out. I said, hold on, play. <laughs> I had to. I had to. <laughs> play. I surrendered. What you do? I immediately play. surrendered. I surrendered. <laughs> Please. No, I ain't do that. I put my hands. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, what's up? I'm like, no, listen, listen to what happened. On everything I love. B-Rock, what type of freak shit is that? On everything I love. On everything I love. Nigga, listen to what happened. Niggas pulling this peak, they peace out and he dropping to his knees. No, I surrender. Okay. I got on my knees. I'm like, hold up, hold up. Listen. He like, what the fuck is you doing around here, right? And I got my stand because I, I guess they think I'm trying to record somebody or some shit. I'm not. But I ain't realized. They thought I'm, you was <laughs> no, but I'm not, Wallow Brasco. I'm not they supposed knew who to be around there. Like Wack told me one time, Wallow, you can't just be mos moseying around him. Skipping around uh, L.A. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, bro. You know, I'm, you know how I am. I'm Joe yeah. Friendly. So I fucking get on the joint. I'm like, oh. And it was and, and the boy that came out in the wheelchair. He basically he basically saved my motherfucking life. I don't know if dude was going to kill me, pistol with me, but whatever it was, I would have picked just go ahead, pistol with me. But you was br bitching at a rapid listen, rate. I was in. A, listen, I was bitching. But you was bitching at a rapid rate. Let's get that straight. You no, was no, BRR. I was br. I was br. In in no bullshit. <laughs> I think I pissed on my, it was a little step, my, my drawers got wet. I was just saying that. My drawers got wet on anything I love. I'm not bullshit. My Look, drawers got wet. Okay, listen. so let's rewind this. A nigga pulled their piece out, you dropped to your knees and your drawers got wet. All right, come on, keep, listen, keep, listen. keep the story. So going. listen, so listen. So now, the boy come out in the wheelchair, this dude was like, no, 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 he, that's the dude that be making the videos. He from the East Coast. He cool, man, he funny guy. I'm like, yeah, that's me, that's me. I'm, but I already, my drawers wet already. I'm like, yo, listen, I grabbed my shit, and the other dude was like, Holmes, you can't be around here, Holmes. I'm like, Hold I on. will not. So you, you can't be the, f I don't give a fuck what type of videos you, listen, you listen, do, listen. Holmes. I ain't tell you that. This the time when you met me out there. Oh, yeah. When you met me at the hotel, and I got out there That's why you ain't want to go no. <laughs> Hey, oh, by the time I get there, you already been here for a day, right? I'm like, I'm like, dog, what? What, what, what are we doing now? I'm just going to teach you. I was chilling at the West I just want to be at the West I was West chilling. Like, listen. <laughs> I, got shit, I was like, I, I ain't tell go. you, but I called one of Nigga the big did all his videos from the West thing. <laughs> yeah, you see that? That's why I did it in front of the joint. No, that's why you never want the fuck out to put the Mexicans put that drama to. Them niggas is real, man. I Listen, on anything I love, man. <laughs> the Mexicans said, listen, about I, to put that flame to you. I went ass. back through. Listen, I went back and I had a fresh pair of Adidas sweatpants on. Fresh joints. I had to throw them away. Because, you know, I ain't trying to get my shit my 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 my, my, my box of grease hit the guy. I'm, I'm taking that shit through and enjoy. I jumped in the shower and I just went to lay down, man. I just wanted to lay down, go to sleep after that shit. <laughs> you that shit was nigga. gosh, for real. Hey, let's get into the top five cartoons of all time. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry's definitely one. Smurfs. Tom and Jerry Smurfs. Smurfs. Uh, 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 Tom and Jerry Smurfs. Uh, 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 Scooby uh, uh, Doo. Me, me. Scooby Doo. Uh, 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 fucking. Me, me. Road Runner. Road Runner was my shit. The Flintstones was my shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, the Flintstones, wait, wait. Jetsons. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah, damn. The Flintstones, okay, Jetsons. Hold on. The Flintstones, the Jetsons. The Smurfs. I like the Smurfs. The Smurfs. Uh, let me see. Uh, the Flintstones, the, the Jetsons, Jeffersons, the, the Smurfs. Smurfs. Flintstones, Jeffersons, Smurfs. The Jeffersons, Tom and the Jetsons. I mean, Jetsons. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Hold on. Tom and Jerry's number one. You, Without Jerry. I'm Tom. Oh, fuck out of here. You, Jerry, bitch. You Jerry, you a little rat, fuck <laughs> a little mouse. <laughs> fuck you totally out. told on me back in the fuck day. Out of here. <laughs> I got a job. Tom and Jerry, number one. All right. No, who the fuck? Tom and Jerry not number one. Tom and Jerry got to be number one. Road That's Runner. The, me, no, me. no, no, fuck out of here. Road Runner ain't even fucking in front of no Tom and Jerry. Road Runner's not even on my list. Cause Can dude, I count what's niggas? That was my shit. Road Runner going front Sesame of Fat Street was my shit. No, they don't count. Do do do. What about what about your joint Transformers? That was your favorite cartoon. What about He Man? G.I. Joe, American hero. hero. G.I. Joe is about, it. What about about He Man? He Man, yeah. I, I have the power. We got some legendary shit right there. But I, I love, I love, I love Flintstones. I love the Jetsons. I love the, the Smurfs. Flintstones is without a doubt. The Smurfs was the Flintstones shit. without a doubt. The Smurfs, legendary cartoons. Flintstone, Tom and Jerry, Flintstones. The Smurfs. Mm-hmm. No Fat Albert. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. I fought the fuck. I forget Fat Albert. Hey, it's Fat Albert. And I'm going to sing, sing a song for you. And we're going to do a thing or two. That was a Philly cartoon. That was Let's legendary. have a party okay. with me right. and all the gang. Dang. Yeah. Learning about yeah, yeah, each yeah, other yeah, yeah, yeah. and how to do yeah, our yeah, thing. Yeah. How to do our thing. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 no, did no Bill comments. Cosby have something to do? No with comments. No, 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 no. That was Bill Cosby cartoon. That was a story about, but but all the other shit. I'm not. I don't know nothing about none of that shit. About free Bill Cosby? No, I'm just saying I don't know. You don't know he locked up. I ain't know Bill was locked. I just don't know. I'm just I don't know. What Bill? Bill locked. Oh, that's right. Bill locked up for putting the giving them bitches that shit. Yeah, you, I'm just saying I don't oh, know what right. you're talking about. Oh, my fault. Maybe not free Bill. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing about shit. I forgot. I forgot Bill was locked up for dropping that shit in the bitches' drinks. Yeah, somebody <laughs> dropped some of your drinks down Woody's. I remember when you, your drink, you got that roof, you dropping your drink. You shouldn't, you, you might. I remember nigga, you, they said nigga gave you a roofie in jail. A roofie? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, cool, man. You ready to take that smut off my name, said, man? Said you woke up in your cell on the floor on your stomach with your ass arched in it. You know what's crazy? This some crazy shit. I had a fucking dream that me and Earl was sellies, man. I I was mad as shit when I woke that's up. That's some nut shit. No, me and Earl was sellies, and he was talking to me. He was in Indian that, style on his bed shit. talking to me, giving me some game. He was naked, too. Nothing no, he wasn't naked. Nothing on your chest. He wasn't, he wasn't naked. Don't do that. <laughs> nothing he wasn't your, naked. Nothing on your feet, nothing on your Yo, chest. That'd have been crazy, Earl. Hey, listen, man. You want to get into a. Uh, a couple uh me and I worth the game questions. Let's get it let's get into some uh questions. Did you listen to any of these? For million dollars worth of game. Who me? No, I don't I don't always do that. I don't always listen to Because you always want to listen and don't let me hear them and then set me the fuck up. I don't like I don't with like some, listening with some to stuff. Old, with some goofy shit. What are, what, are, what are we doing over here? Do you, do you not know how Man, it's S A Richie from Washington DC. And my question is, babe, what's your best advice for young artists to just get on? Like, even just through social media, like, what's your best advice for artists to get on? What you think can help an artist be noticed or be seen by major labels? Well, first of all, youngin, if you're an artist and you're trying to get on, you got to outwork these niggas, youngin. That, there's no, there's no, there's no, like, big thing to hard work you got to put the work in your blessings come from god you put the work in then you get your blessings niggas don't want to put the work in niggas want that microwavable heat up shit they just want to throw in the microwave and the, oh you're hot now it don't work like that well it don't work like that for everybody some people some people get that blessing where they they start rapping a year ago and now they on fire everybody don't get that so you got to understand that, okay, I got to put this work in, number one. I got to outwork these niggas. Then when it comes to social media is you look at all these rappers today, right, and the new millenniums, and they know social media is the way. But when you go to their social media, they don't, they don't give you no content. They ain't on there rapping. They not on there. They not on there showing you no type of lifestyle. They not on there inviting you into they likes because see, let me tell you something. Young artists when they fucked up, they don't feel comfortable doing the same things that the artists with money do because they feel like they fucked up, but they don't understand that people love to see you come up. Niggas love to see uh, Meek Mills has fans right now that will be his fans forever because they was his fans when he had them straight back fuzzy ass braids and not a dollar in his pocket. All he had was talent. So what you got to understand is people love to see the glow up. But all you all the young artists want to come on and act like we already on. We we ain't never struggled. We get money, we and most motherfuckers know that's a lie. Mm. Especially the niggas that surround you. They like, uh, nigga, we see you on Instagram, you balling out, 
in real life, you stalling out, nigga. You ain't doing shit out here. You're falling out. You're falling out. You hear me? So at the end of the day, man, you got to put the work in. And you got to put the work in. And then you got to put more fucking work in. And then put working on top of that work he was just talking about. Right. The one thing motherfuckers know when they come to my IG is I'm going to have some content every fucking day. Every day. One thing niggas know when they come to Wallow Page, he going to have some content. Every day. Every day. We don't take days off. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I don't give a fuck about that. We 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 here for the people. We can't be here for the people and not give the people what the fuck they want. And guess what the people want? They want to hear from us on a daily basis. Because guess what? The next niggas will come by. The next niggas will come around. And then niggas don't want to hear from you no more. Because you take weeks off. You take months off. You don't get a, You didn't get the people what they wanted when they wanted it. So at the end of the day, put the work in, young. You want to get to a next caller, man? Yeah, put the put that wheels in there again. What's good, big bro? Shout to my name, Hardy. I'm from North and shit. I want to know why this number got six 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 on it. Watch y'all. I know y'all just got that three million too. Let me find out y'all enjoying the Illuminati. Oh, 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 oh. cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. We're saying, uh, why don't the naughty? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, they, thank you, bam, play. thank you, bam, cut him off. We're going to get y'all one of these little iPhones or something. Watch out. Cut him off. Cut, I, I, naughty, no, first no, of no, all, well, Wallow's in the naughty. I just want to say, Wallow's in the naughty. He joined, he had a secret joint without me. There's no such thing as Illuminati, and I advise you not to talk about it. I just advise you not to talk about it. Wallow in the naughty. No such thing. They took him on a on a retreat. With 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 they lit they lit seventy three hundred candles for every day he was locked up. They took him on a real vicious retreat. They told him you know he he had to leave me behind. So you that know. wasn't a retreat that, that I went on. That went, that was, was a martial arts retreat that <laughs> no, I went no, on. No, fuck it, you lying on me? That, that, that was a naughty retreat. No, it wasn't. That's why I couldn't take you because you was saying things like that. <laughs> You put like you can't say that shit, man. I'm telling you, leave that shit alone, man. And ain't no was, such thing as nigga went on that naughty retreat. <laughs> the Don't next thing that. I know, they want to give us some money. I said, damn. Don't do that. As long, long as we had to risk you, it was all good, baby. Well, let me go to one more. <laughs> yo, yo, I got a question for Wallo. I was just wondering if your celly, if you ever had a celly's name, Big Ball Barry. If you ever met Big Ball Barry, I heard that man stole your suit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a Sully called Big Bar Barry, but I did have a Sully called Big. I mean, I, I, I did have a Sully, but I don't know what Big what? I, I just knew his name was Big. So you just called him Big Big. <laughs> yeah, I just, <laughs> that was a little crazy. Yo, well, Big, what's up, Big? <laughs> his name was Big. He was a big black guy. Uh, yeah. Name was did big. you name him Big or was that no, his name? Why, no, why would I name him Big? Hey, what type of spicy shit you, you, get, you made again. You trying to slam my name all up. Stick that shit off all my name. Tell me, did I name him Big? Why do I fucking name a man Big? Oh, you name Big. Like, what type of dumb shit is that? I'm just saying. Come so that was the name man. the jail gave him or what? What? No, oh, that was his name. He came in. My name Big. I said, okay. My name we got Wallow. any more questions from the callers? Let me give you more. Let me see. Hmm. See what they talking about. Before we go on to the What's next. What's up, fellas? This, 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 this big Kenny from b man. I just wanted to ask. I know y'all from Philly, man, but do you really think, do y'all really think that Tevin Farmer would have a chance with Tank? I know y'all got back, y'all, man, because y'all from Philly. But come on, man. Keep it 100, man. That's what I want to know. Man, they got knocked out by two, two, two people. That tank that knocked out. Then he just lost his belt. Hit me holler back, man. My number two four zero one seven zero four. Big Kenny, I don't know nothing about uh uh box. I'm 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 a black belt three times black belt of martial arts. So that's his shit. I don't really know. I mean, shut the fuck up, man. You ain't no black belt. Listen, I absolutely believe Tevin Farmer has a chance against Javante Tank Davis. What I, is your reason? I mean, because at the end of the day, uh, first of all. Let, Tank don't have the best discipline. That's number one. You know what I mean? Tank is Who the fuck made you a boxing commentator? I am. Tank has some of the Tank has Tank, Tank has some some extraordinary talent. Yeah, okay, let me tell you something. For you to be at a hundred and thirty pound weight class, right? And you can't make the weight in that fucking weight class, and then you step up to a higher weight class 
it's supposed to be easier for you to make the weight. So if you move up to a higher weight class and you still come to fucking a pound and a half overweight, that means your discipline is at an all-time fucking low. That's all I'm saying. Is the kid super talented? The kid, without a doubt, has all the the fucking eye candy. When you look at it, is it, is there? You see it. It's like that nigga got. He got. I'm just saying. Why are you looking at a man as eye candy? That's no, a little spicy. Saying, I, I, that, I'm just saying. You sound that, a little. That, that, that you sound like spicy. you was in jail. That just sounds like spicy. that was in jail. That if you was in jail, I'd get your pass. Statement. That's a retraction. That was statement. spicy. I mean, when you look at him, it, he looks the part. Let's just say that. You feel what I'm saying? That the the counter punching, the jab, the power, the defense. Hold the fuck up! You never was a boxer in your life. You see, you no, some, I, I, you I just was. like a lot of commentators no, over no, here no, on the no, other channels. Nothing like Stephen A. Smith. Uh, you just like him. You First of all, Stephen A. Smith get the tap dance of the year award. All right, Stephen A. Smith is definitely a house nigga. He's not a field nigga. I'm a field nigga. It's a difference. I don't throw niggas under the bus. You. Well, you you said you did say Tank look like eye candy. That's a no, no, no. I said Tank got it, but at the that end was of the some jail day, shit, though. at the end of the day, I haven't seen Tank fight anybody. I haven't seen Tank fight anybody that's 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 worthy of saying he that nigga other than Jose Pedraza. You feel me? Yeah, he fought Gamboa, but Gamboa was forty seven years old, so that shit don't count. So at the end of the day. It's not like Tevin Farmer is not a skilled boxer. It's mm -hmm. not like Tevin Farmer probably has better defense than Tank. That's probably the one thing that Tevin Farmer has better than Tank. And defense wins fights. So at the end of the day, he always got a chance. Am I taking anything away from Tank Davis? I'm not. I'm a fan of Tank Davis. I'm a fan of Tevin Farmer. But I'm just stating that. You he, a man fan. He oh, Shut up. He definitely has a well, – you can't wait to see baby so you can kiss him in the mouth. So I didn't know. I never Wayne, said please. that. I never said I was going to kiss him. I said you, I was going to hug him. Wayne, I said I was going to hug baby. That, that, why you want to hug him? Okay, because it's a brotherly, like a dap joint. A dap he don't hug. know you. You just want to grip him up. Fuck you, he don't know me. He do know me. You just want to put him in the spicy Like I know people. I know if somebody say like, yo, man. I know if somebody be like, yo, man, Wilder always check Gil about you. I know somebody that know him is like, yo, he know the fuck I am. You want to put him in a spicy burrito hug, huh? I can't wait to see my man. You want to put him in a spicy chicken wrap. Come here. Come here. And the caption going to be crazy. When I put the caption up. Uh, cash my money. baby. No, no, I'm gonna put cash money as an army yet better yet a navy. You said and ass I'm a soldier. money is an army and I'm a soldier. A navy. Oh, yeah, I know you so damn. So you just came right up under his nuts as a soldier. No, you I'm not saying it like you, that. I'm you ain't saying. even a general or nothing. You I'm a just soldier saying, like, I just in his to be army. Cash huh? money records. You was a soldier yeah, in his army. But huh? listen, man, we ready. Listen, forget all this stuff. He tell me he's a man fan. We ready to get into stories from the cell. Now, stories from the cell. We're going to talk about uh, uh, prison love. The thing about prison love is it's deep. It's too tight. It took you a long time to get over your prison love, too. Like, when you came home, it took you a minute. You wanted to go back for some more. No, I, I could tell you wanted to go back We ain't talking about me. <laughs> we not talking about me. <laughs> I could tell you wanted to go back bad. You we was not talking about nigga. me. We talking about, listen, one time. <laughs> you was missing Spicy Joe. This was crazy about it, man. Prison love. You'll see a guy, right? You see, you know, cause you, you might see somebody out here. They out here. They got all the nice chicks and all this stuff, whatever. But in the joint, they was in love with, you know, they was in love with somebody in prison. So on and so on. One of the cellmates, sometime it could be somebody else. This then a third. You would have been in prison let me love. Let me ask you a question. You would have been in prison love like, if you let was in jail. Let me ask you a question. Like, let me ask you would have had a celly named Tootie. Keep it real. Keep it real. Let me ask you a question. Tony, if your celly would have been named Tony, you would have called him Tootie. You would have been in love with somebody in jail. I know you would have. It's no doubt in my life. You would have been in jailhouse love. Let me ask you a question. The day you walked out of jail, keep it real. Uh, put it on your mama right now. You will not lie. Go ahead. I won't. You won't lie. I won't lie. <laughs> The day you left out of jail. Go ahead. When you left your celly, did you cry? No. Nah, me and my celly. The celly that I had, we wasn't cellmates that long. It didn't matter. Uh, okay. But, okay. So, all right. Hold on. So, if you when you had a celly for about five, what's the longest celly you ever had? How long was it? I don't know. Two of my cellies did. Okay. So, how they long? Got killed. Damn, how, you don't know how long you shared the no, cell? No, no, I don't know how long I shared the cell with it, but why? When you got transferred out to a new cell, did you cry? To a new to a new jail where you had to move out yourself and no, leaving no, your man I for never, five years? I ain't never cry. cry. That's some spicy shit. Yes, no, I ain't did. never cry. Yes, why would I cry? Damn, dog, I'm going to miss you, man. Damn, man, he put me over here with these niggas, man. No, no, I, no, I, ain't, never, there, I ain't never do that. I ain't never do that. I don't want to go over there, man. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never do that. Y'all ain't hug on the no, way no. out. But what I'm saying is about jail love is. You ain't leaving your, 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 your comments there? Hey, go ahead, man. You got that. No, I ain't do all that. Listen, one thing I'm going to say, one thing about jail love is this. I'm going to give you the game about jail love. 
one time I go in the visiting room, right? And uh, it was somebody, and they was from a different part of Philly. But they they go on the visit, right? They they go on the visit, and when they walk out, they knew some boy that was on the visit with his baby mom and all that. But he knew he knew the boy and his baby mom, mm-hmm. so he like, oh, I gotta pull her coat. A lot of times people say that's none of your business. Like when you, right. there's a lot of things always to tell you when you first come to jail. There's a lot of things you gonna see you might don't agree with that you might don't like. Might turn your stomach around. That ain't none of your motherfucking business. They basically telling you, you better not have my business back in the street if you catch me laying in the lawn with Sean. Some people want to lay on the lawn with Sean. No, I don't know. I don't know. But listen, you don't know. No, I said no. I don't know Sean. But I'm just saying, <laughs> just like, you know, don't say that shit. <laughs> He Shut laid up. on the lawn with Sean. I'm trying to dress my name up with smut, man. You're trying to dress my name up with a smut sweatsuit. I'm just saying. Don't, don't I, put no sm- take that smut sweatsuit. How you put that out there, though, laying on the lawn with Sean? I'm like, just saying. You know how it is. <laughs> that's a prison show. <laughs> <laughs> Next week on laying on the lawn with Sean. <laughs> <laughs> but Wallow saying. and Sean gets to arguing. Wallow was mad because Sean didn't meet him in the yard at approximately 2.30. <laughs> Next week on laying on the lawn with Sean. Listen, the whole twist is the whole thing is. So he t he call us up. She go to the machine. Tell her, yeah, listen, man, you baby father, man, laying in the grass with ass. <laughs> Next week. So so she tell him. She tell him, listen, laying in the yard hard. Next week. <laughs> Yo, you trying to decorate somebody's name in a smut sweatsuit. Take that smut hat off my jacket. That's your name. <laughs> Don't take that shit off my jacket. Next week on Land in the Yard. You got my yard. jacket spicy as shit out here on the streets, man. You better clean my jacket the fuck up, man. Hey, take that shit hey. off my jacket. <laughs> Next week on Land in the Yard hard. <laughs> While I was jumping, was standing crazy. up, turning everybody on. And <laughs> That's crazy as shit. All right, go ahead. I'm no, sorry. So, listen, so listen, he go to he call himself. He she go to the machine. He slide up on the machine. Call himself pulling a coat. Listen, man, she ain't try to hear none of that shit. She like, man, you want me telling me about my baby? I, don't, I know what's going on. You hating? You hating ass nigga? He like. Your baby father was just tongue kissing the man <laughs> at the basketball game last night in New York. I'm just telling you. That's all I'm saying, right? And so, dude, dude ain't never say nothing because he wasn't as tough as the boy that told his baby mom. So he ain't say nothing to him. But, you know, motherfucker, you hear the old head, right? <laughs> what his old head is basically told him, like, yeah, young, you got to be like, you got to stay out of people's business, man. Like, he like, stay out of people's business. He ready He ready to take some some. Crazy shit back to the hood, right? Some wild, I mean that wildfire, right. right? So whatever the case may be, but like <coughs> it be like that, man. You be shocked, and then you will see a dude out here, they be cooling the motherfucker on the gram and all this other shit. And just was starting it, laying on the lawn with Sean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> on the next prison edition, yeah, Dallas but, but, to Pink but, Dallas. But, but at the end of the day, on everything I love, if Gil was in jail, Tell the fuck out of here. No, no, no. Listen, your name would be Gail in jail. It wouldn't be Gail. It'd be Gail. <laughs> I'll be Gail kicking. No, you'll be just Gail. Like, you would just be Gail. Listen, listen, in jail, and j- listen, on anything I love, in jail, he'll just be Gail. Hey, I like what Snoop called Gail King, you funky no, listen, bitch. Listen, listen, you, you would just be, you would just be Gail. I would be Gail. Your name, your name be Gail. Hey, Gail, come here. The come here, Gail. Gail. you be like, hey. I can see you now. Hey, well, hey, y'all, listen. Well, you you play that role, but no, you, no, know that, that shit. you know that's that you. motherfucking head moving. No, you just popped it, John. <laughs> I'm saying I'm copying it off. That's your name. Hey, gal. Come on. You be running around with Penis Williams in them. <laughs> well, oh, so you trying to say you you was going to pimp your cousin out? You trying? No, I, I said you be running around. Because we knew you had listen, Penis Williams. No, you I had, had nothing to do him. with him. No, I didn't. You're lying on my name. He, he, was, he was a pimp well, Once jail. again, he's lying on my name. Listen, he, but, uh, he had, no, no, next no, no, time no, on Million Hours Worth of Game. Get the fuck out of here. Hold on, hold on. He had four hoes in jail. He had not Lil Kim. He had Lil Him. Too much smut on my fucking name. He had he had he had he had he had a whole name Lil Him. Get that smut up off my jacket, man. He had a whole name Ricky Minaj. Oh my god. He had a whole name Beyonce. And and a whole name Kevin The Stallion. (laughs) (laughs) You lying? Because. You lying? You just made your name up. Cause that that type of name wasn't even out when I was in jail. (laughs) First of all, she got her name from Kev. Fuck is wrong with now, you? Now, if you just said Coxie Brown or something, I'd be like, "Oh, all right, I know what you're saying." <laughs> no, I'm not saying it like that, but I'm just saying that would have been a name that would have been out that time. <laughs> Coxie Brown, like you know, I'm just saying like that's a name that fit the time of I was doing time. But I'm not saying that I, you know, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Coxie Brown, yo, that was another one of your bitches, Coxie. No, no, I'm just saying that's that's the type of name is make you know Kevin the Stallion. Man. But listen, man, I'm Co- Wallow Two Six Seven, Co- man. Coxie Brown. Listen, man, come on, man. We signing off, man. Next time, man. You trying to de- decorate my name with some Smiths, man. Come on with the bullshit, man. <laughs> oh, no.
<laughs> Ain't no nigga like the one I got. No one can fuck you better. Sleeps around, but it gives me a <laughs> You, it, you was up to jail turning it the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking hey, my name up, man. Hey, hey, man. This is me and Osworth and Gabe. I appreciate me, 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 y'all me. tuning in each and me, every me, me, week. Me, me, me. Making us the number one music podcast me, 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 me. in the country, man. Listen, man. Thank you for all your support. Make sure you go to Barstool. Check out our merch. Check out our merch. Check out our merch, man. We got all the merch. We got bundles. We got hats. We got a hoodie. We got a t-shirt. They go for ninety nine dollars. We got all types of different t-shirts. All type of stuff. So Check make sure y'all support us all the way around the board. We are, truly appreciate you guys for tuning in each and every week. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow two six seven, and it's just like that. Right.